with y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless y'all. I'm Jarvis Kingston, and I hope y'all doing all right, staying strong and solid in these times that we're in. I pray that you have repented and that you are baptized. I pray that you are safe, protected, and prayed up. And I just pray that whatever situation you're going through, that the Most High be with you, that he gives you more strength, more comfort, more peace, and he makes you more wise as well through your situation, all right? Now, this message is just going to be just from the heart, just a reflection message of 2022. Uh, you know, just keep it short, sweet, and simple. Um, this year has been a pretty interesting year for many of us, as we can see. Ever since 2020 has hit, every year gets more different, strange, year after year, energy-wise. Things just shift more drastically. Things get more unpredictable, and things are speeding up, you know. So as you reflect on this year, 2022, uh you know, we always do this thing of like reflecting or New Year's resolutions and all that, but we shouldn't live like that. You know, the Lord and the Bible tells us to live day by day and not to worry about tomorrow and not to be anxious for the next day and how we should always, you know, um, take care of what's in front of us now, you know, because the day is full as it is. And, you know, we just have this thing of always wanting to have goals that are centered around ourselves and our ego, but your goals should be set around God. Your goal should be spiritual. Your goal should be set around the kingdom of heaven. You know, more ways to put him first, Um, breaking bad habits, um, you know, being more diligent, doing things better, treating people better. Those those should be your goals. Your goal shouldn't just be based around materialistic things or vain things or things for validation. Your your goal should always be getting closer to God. And it shouldn't take a whole year to do that. That should take a that should take an everyday thing. That's an everyday commitment, right? So you want to base your goals around transformation, renewal, you know, more stability, more strength, uh, you know, better health, you know, being in a better headspace, better mental health, you know, being able to have more resources to help others around you or beyond you. You know, traveling more often, having a change of scenery, moving to a different place. Those should be your goals. You know, we have to stop being stagnant and complacent. You know, we have to keep moving with the times. We have to keep on um, moving in the spirit and let the Lord guide us and direct our steps each way. All right. Let's not let's not lean on our own understanding. Let's stop being stagnant, lazy or complacent or come up with excuses. All right. Let's be more diligent. Let's be more thorough. Let's put our hands to the plow, you know. Your goal should be to win more souls for the kingdom of heaven. Your goal should be to spread the gospel more, you know, get the word out, get the truth out. You know, your your goal should be based around everything that's heavenly, all right? So I just wanted to talk about that, you know. Uh, this year has been pretty wild, um, <laughs> a real roller coaster. It, this year has been a roller coaster for many people, like emotionally, mentally, Um I would say financially, it's been a, t- a burden, of course, like ever since the pandemic 2020. And uh, it's been financially exhausting, very taxing. I would definitely say that um, mentally, like a lot of roller coasters mentally, a lot of uh, twists and turns, right? And what have you. But let's get it together. Let's tighten up, all right? Let us not be gone in the wind. All right, let's be firm in the Lord. Let's have more stability and strength from here on out. Hallelujah. So... Yeah, man, just take time to reflect on everything that's been going on in your life for the past 12 months and ask yourself, are you getting closer to the Lord? Are you where God wants you to be? Are you working towards it? Are you aligning yourself with it? Um, You know, like what things are in store for you 2023, right? So those types of things you want to reflect on as this year is closing out, all right? So we see how this year is ending overall chaotic-wise, chaos-wise with the war and everything going on in different countries. Um, the airport travels, frustrations at airports and what have you. So if your home safe or protected, um, more power and blessings to you. All right. We got to just keep it simple nowadays and take it day by day. All right. So just wanted to wrap it up on that. You know, 2022, pretty hectic year for all of us, but let us be more strong and firm from here on out. Hallelujah. So there you have it. All right. What I would love to do as we close out is just give our glory to the most high of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. And praise only begotten Son, die for our sins. Hallelujah. So here we go. Yes, no matter what season you're going through, always remember who the Father and the Son is. Hallelujah. Here we go. He is the Adam, the Advocate, the Almighty, the Alpha and Omega. Amen. Amen. The Apostle of our profession, the Armor of the Lord, 
the atoner sacrifice for our sins, the author and finisher of our faith, the author and perfecter of our faith, the author of life, the author of salvation, the beginning and the end, the beginning of creation of God, the beloved son, the blessed and only potent, the blessed and only ruler, the branch, the bread of God, the bread of life, the bridegroom, the capstone, the cap, the salvation, the chief cornerstone, the chief shepherd, Christ, the Christ of God, the consolation of Israel, the cornerstone, the counselor, the creator, the day spring, the deliverer, the desire of the nations, the door, the elect of God, Emmanuel, the eternal life, the everlasting father, the faith and true witness, faithful and true, the faithful witness, the first and the last, the first begotten, the first born from the dead, first born over all creation, the forerunner, the gate, the, gl the glory of the Lord, God, the good shepherd, the great high priest, the great shepherd, the head of the church, the heir of all things, the high priest, holy and true, the holy one, the hope, the hope of glory, the horn of salvation, the I am, the image of God, Jehovah, Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus, the judge of Israel, the judge, king eternal, king of Israel. Yes, he is the king of kings. He is the king of kings and lord of lords, king of saints, king of the ages, king of the Jews, the king, the lamb, the lamb of God, the lamb without blemish, the last Adam, the lawgiver, the leader and commander, the life, the lie of the world, the line of the tribe of Judah, the living one, the living stone, the Lord, the Lord, Yah, Yahweh, 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 Shai, Yahweh, Be Yahweh, Ahai, Yeshai, Yeshua, Hamashiach, Barakatha, Shalom, Shalom, Yeshua, Elohim, our righteousness, the consuming fire, the Lord of all, the stone the builders rejected, the Lord of glory, the Lord of lords, the man from heaven, the man of sorrows, the mediator of the new covenant, the mediator, the messenger of the covenant, the Messiah, the mighty God, the mighty one, the morning star, the Nazarene, the offspring of David, the only begotten son of God, our great God, our savior, our holiness, our spiritual husband, our Passover, our protection, our redemption, our righteousness, our sacrifice to Passover lamb, the power of God, the power of Yah, the power of Yahuwah, the power of Yahweh Shai, the precious cornerstone, the prince of kings, the prince of life, the prince of peace, the prophet, the redeemer, the resurrection and life, the revelation, the righteous branch, the righteous one, the rock, the root of David, the rose of Sharon, the ruler of God's creation, the ruler of the kings of the earth, the savior, the seed of woman, the shepherd and bishop of souls, the shalom. The Shiloh, the son of David, the son of God, the son of man, son of the blessed, son of the most high God, the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him, the son of righteousness, the just one, the one mediator, the stone the builders rejected, the true bread of the true God, the true light, the true vine, the truth, the way, the way, truth, and life, the wisdom of God, the witness, the wonderful counselor, the word, the word of Yahuwah, the word of Yahweh, the word of Yah, the word of Yah, the word of Elohim, the word of God, the word of life, the word. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, yes, we touch and agree. We serve an awesome creator, and the Son is amazing for dying for our sins. Hallelujah. So there you have it, y'all. In the authority and power in the name of Jesus Christ, you are renewed, you are restored, you are healed, all right? You are a new creature in Christ. You are born again. You have new life. You have a new mind, a new heart, a new soul. And the Lord blessed your hands, he blessed your feet, and he blessed your path. Hallelujah. So there you have it, all right? So just want to close out on that, all right? 2022 was... A roller coaster year mentally and emotionally, all right? So let us not have our minds set on materialistic things anymore, things of this world. Let us set our minds on the kingdom of heaven. Let us set our mind on the on the most high. Let us, let us set our mind on the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. You know what I'm saying? Let us set our mind on doing right by the Lord, doing right by people, okay? Let us not be vain or chasing the wind no more. Stop living for social media likes and social media validation. Start living for the Lord, all right, please the Lord with your faith and your works, with your lifestyle, all right? Please the Lord with your habits and your generosity. Bless the, you know, please the Lord with your faith and the way you treat people, the way you give, the way you just doing his work. Please him in that manner, all right? That's the only one we should be pleasing nobody else, all right? So there you have it. I pray to God that whoever listens to this message, I pray that you get baptized, start your life up for the most high. I pray that you repent and have new beginnings. And I just hope that you reflect on this year and do better from here on out, all right? I'm Jarvis Kingston. I got much love for y'all. God bless y'all. Peace.